What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're all doing great out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. It just tells YouTube I'm doing a good job. And let's jump on into this, my friends. So going over more of your feedback, uh, your comments from uh, videos that I posted, um, I, I gotta say, you guys are right on the money with these. Um, this one was from a video that was called, this is why DoorDash could be over sooner than we think based on this new information. Now, it was an article that was submitted from Budasan, and it was talking about how although companies like DoorDash are making a lot of money, they're supposedly not turning a profit from quarter to quarter to quarter. Now we've spoken about this from, uh, you know, other other different angles, of other different sources and stuff. But it seems like everybody else has got an opinion about it. Uh, and also, DoorDash is claiming that dashers are their highest expense, which is why, you know, we're treated the way we are. You know, so this is what you guys had to say, and uh, I'm, I'm just curious if those of you watching now agree or disagree. So Agus said, "I'm not surprised." DoorDash has been showing consistent losses the last three quarters. As I've said before, they are on the decline and will likely fail in the next three to four years. I mean, I mean, the recent pay cut and other issues show how desperate they are. Now, do you guys agree or disagree with Agus? Let me know down below. Uh, and, and again, this is from another source more than likely. Uh, Boss Move says, if they're not turning a profit, it's their own damn fault. If a delivery calls for $3 uh, for a $3 delivery or even a $5 delivery and the distance altogether is about 10 to 15 miles, I'm definitely not taking it. Boss moves 110%. I agree with you. Do you guys agree or disagree with boss moves? Definitely. You always want to try and aim for at least minimum a dollar per mile. Just saying. AABB says DoorDash refuses to use the utmost common sense when it comes to business. I don't even give them two years before they have to hang it up. And all they'll give dashers is an email in the, the morning of saying they're no longer in business and good luck. Now, AABB, -A -A I think there is some truth to what you're saying here, but at the same time, uh, I, I give them a little more than two years. I would say probably more like three to five before they start having issues unless they can fix things. Um, you know, but... I do feel that they will send some sort of an email out to let dashers know what's going on at that point. Uh, Real Rhino X2 says, I can tell DoorDash how to make money and pay the drivers well. Stop giving everybody free deliveries to every restaurant in town. Charge every customer a proper fee for every delivery and have a minimum mandatory tip for the driver. This is a luxury service. Real Rhino, it is a luxury service. It's a premium service and people are treating it like it's not. The same damn thing happened to Uber, uh, to, not Uber, Uber. Uh, Uber was a premium, you know, riding service and now it's just like a taxi, you know, and it, a lot of people don't like that. Uh, DJ Stockton says, DoorDash is so stressful, that's why I prefer Uber Eats. Now, how do you guys feel? Do you prefer DoorDash? Do you prefer Uber, uh, yeah, Uber Eats? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, weather and Earth 25, uh, using technology means the beginning of the robot apocalypse. Because in the article, they were saying that they need to keep, you know, working with uh, getting better technology and this, that, the other. And look, automation is coming, whether we want it or not, because people are always looking for convenience to, pa to pass the buck to somebody or something else to do the work for them, you know? So I hear you on that. Uh, Maria Moncada says the handwriting has been on the wall for a while. And I definitely think she has a point there. And, uh, D says technology to reduce errors would probably involve some type of scanning and barcoding system, more work, more capital investment. It's very possible. D I'm telling you that any, anything is possible with these, div, uh, these delivery services. So overall, what do you guys think? What do you guys feel about 
DoorDash? Do you think that they are actually turning a profit? Do you think that they're actually doing well? Or do you think these reports are a bit skewed? Maybe they're not completely accurate. Let me know your thoughts down below in the chat or the comments, because at this point, they're the biggest delivery company right now. So we're going to have to see where that goes. So if you guys ever want to send me anything in the future for a topic or a video or an article or whatever, you can email me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com best place to reach me or for a quicker response, you guys can message me uh, on patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. I have the link in the description down below or in the pin top comment. So anyone who signs up as a patron, my way of saying thank you is I shout you out in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you, Ari. We've got our very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Honor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Cavillan, uh, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of them. And uh, of course, yeah, sign up down below. Uh, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope all of you guys are saving money on your gas with the free app called Get Upside. That's right, everybody. It's a link. Uh, there's a link down below for you guys to download it on. Like I said, it's free. Uh, and, and once you download it to your smartphone, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today, my friends. That's right. Links down below. And of course, if you want your own, comment 111 if you smash this like t-shirt you can find it at pay to drive store.com where everything is on sale every day we have lots of different designs colors sizes you name it we probably have it over at pay to drive store.com for all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies and if you made it to the end of this video i'm very grateful for all of you leave a comment right now saying end 613 end 613 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video don't forget uh to uh subscribe with all notifications on turn on uh, the notification bell to the right, set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. Hit the like button down below, just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, that's basically it. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see ya on the next one. Later, my friends. Peace.